Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to SimCity, where we start with the same gorgeous view that we had last time, only that our city grew in strength, we're making quite a bit of money from our gambling holes, we're bringing in some tourists, we're trying to get a thousand per day, a thousand, as you see, low wealth workers or shoppers, we'll see how much that works. In today's episode, what we want to do is that we're going to continue the expansion of our gambling centers. And we'll see how we can make more money. Maybe make more attractions. Could be a pretty good idea. Like maybe just adding a few of these arcs is going to be good enough to make more, uh, more hotels. Like we can breed... Maximum of three. Apparently, it's yeah, it's just a maximum of three buildings, three landmarks. So maybe I'll go with something. This is for low wealth. This will be for medium wealth, and we'll have maybe the arc for high wealth. We will see. Let's see, how many free tourists waiting to depart? Okay, what do we have here? Lamatras Company. Is this a better hotel? I am looking for ways to bring in more tourists. Hmm, yeah, it will still need a bit of money to go that way. All of these are quite expensive, so what is the best? This is for low and medium wealth. This is for low, medium and high. Okay, let's, let's assume we can't attract the high wealth yet. And we're gonna push down... A medium well casino. So let's continue the road till the end, till the edge. Could even bring in a road through here. Let's push it like this, and then can I close it there? No, no. Just barely. For some reason, they don't want to go that way. Okay, well, then I'll destroy this and we'll put down one like so. Maybe I'll push a few more businesses here. Now let's go to our casinos, and I'm gonna go with the sci-fi casino, and I am going to be placing it. We're gonna start here. 400 tourists, lodgers, for low wealth and high. So we have the possibility to attract some low and some well medium wealth. By either having one of these or having a sign. What else could we do? There's a disco. This is a what? A disco club. Low wealth tourists attracted per day 4,320. Then we have low wealth rooms. A room... Rocket rooms, okay, and a penthouse for medium wealth. And then there's a celebrity stage, which we will need an entertainment division in the area. Okay, so this is probably for later on. We'll just leave it as it is for now. Actually, maybe we'll attract some of these. Shall I put down? Yeah, let's plop down one of these signs instead. It looks pretty good here. 
Not like it fits. And see if we can make some money out of it. We could also think about attracting the medium wealth. And for the medium wealth we will need a building like this. So how about replacing these ones? Huh? Sure. There we have it. See the yeah the land value did increase. Not exactly what I wanted, but hey, we'll take it right now. And what else do we need? More freight product production. We will need more medium wealth. And more high wealth. Shall we think... I'm wondering if we should think about adding some mega towers here as well. Wouldn't really be a bad idea. Okay, the good thing is it's just businesses that are upgrading. So it will work with the type of tourists that we will have in the area. We're making some profits. Are we making profits here as well? Uh, yesterday we made more money, yeah, today not yet. We can even think about scheduling another event. Plop down one of these towers. Could be, but I would want to extend these roads first, like so. This would be low wealth rooms. How many? Let's see. If I add these two, this will mean we have space for four rooms. One, two, maybe three. Maybe I can do something like one here. Yeah, we will need the lodging divisions next. Yeah, bring two low wealth. And this tower. Just like that. I am going to sit still for a day or two just to make more money. We'll need to add more power first. Then water, then sewage. Probably sewage first. Let's see, that's 40k. As we can buy power from the region. Still annoyed needs workers. You know what I feel like they need? Some Omega Co. Not fully yet, the bus these businesses are not doing everything to the best of their abilities, I feel. this gambling hole. These gambling holes are making good money. Okay. There's some more people coming in. Look at the amount of cars coming in and out. 
Not a whole lot going this way into the unknown. Probably for right for tourism, this works as well, like the street cart. Ding ding, the station provides the basis at of a street car system in your city includes the free street cars but you'll need to add street car stops for it to ha have anywhere to go must be plopped at the, on a high density street car avenue i was sure that this would add tourism but apparently not That's a, a cool building there. Okay, we're bringing 220 tourists per day. That is absolutely nothing. And we're spending 11,000. You know what? I think I am going to stop this airport. For 200 tourists, we're spending way too much money. I mean, it's better to keep the ferry and definitely better to keep the buses going. How much are we... It's 60 minutes, we'll probably need to expand that as well. But utilities will be first. See, let's put the bus stop there as well. Okay, so we're good on sewage now. Water is still fine. We'll need electricity soon. And for electricity, 7500 to add another one of these. That's not expensive. We could use some more ship, and some more freight. Maybe I should demolish these and go for more medium level businesses. I am thinking that that might be better for both for our demanding people. Right, let's see. Mm, yeah, there's probably better if that was the case. This one is really not making us any money right now. It's still the smaller ones that do. So how do we get more tourists in? That is the question. I guess scheduling an event would be one thing. I believe I'm gonna take a bond here. And what I'm going to try to do... It costs us 150 to put a, on a show, so I guess we'll take more money. And let's see if we can make this happen. And also improve the situation we have there. I'm really hoping it's gonna work. Add another one of these. Okay, plenty of power. And we're gonna add another pump. Let's see, can I add some commercial here? Yes. Small fires everywhere and we have only a few fire trucks, so let's add two. Police. 
police are doing okay. Like, we have plenty of cars to go around. Okay, now we're losing money. Because we're losing a lot from this. We're just going to have to see if the event will improve our situation here. like to take a look here is there anything else that we so casinos create revenue for your city each casino appears to a... appeals to a different wealth class of sims add modules to each casino to expand its attraction and or increase its capacity higher attraction ratings means more sims will visit your casinos criminals are drawn to casinos okay What we've been doing so far should actually work. Let's see, so we have this landmark, we have this landmark. There's some people coming by boat, like these are high wealth. And they don't have where to spend money. Some medium, some hotel guests and some medium wealth tourists are in here. Now we have 11 medium tourists there, but that is not a big number. Ah, look at this. A lot of high wealth now. Okay, let's see how these numbers grow. Okay, so they're more coming. Are they coming for the event? Yes. So as they're coming in for the event, it's one way to really attract them. Like, look at this. And it brings tourists in the area as well, it feels. Okay. Not so much on this one. Low wealth, medium wealth. Yeah, I'm almost thinking of shutting this down. Adding these divisions, what would they do? Earn considerable income to reach your next upgrade. Okay, we'll get celebrity stage, disco club, concert hall, and exclusive clubs. Poker parlor. So we'll get different types of buildings. Maybe I should just build like this type of casinos, like have multiple for low wealth especially. Hmm. We're just gonna observe. Um, okay, well that happened. Power running low on oil. Don't worry, you'll. Oh, you cannot buy it because we don't have the money. Yeah, then let's borrow some of it. Running out of power would be disastrous. Yeah, here I feel like we should. Let's downgrade the road. Yeah, I really feel like that is the best choice. Downgrade it to a medium level. Just so they can't build this mammoth kind of industries. And we'll keep it medium. Let's see. How are we doing now? Oh, we're... 
Seems like we're not turning a profit. Wow. That did not work at all. So, new focus. Close this. I wasn't expecting that, I have to be honest. Let's pay this back. We're not making any money right now. We're losing on these ones as well. We need to have more people in the city and attract more people in the city. I'm gonna make our mayor's mansion. As I want people to upgrade. Mm, where could I place it? Where can I upgrade it a lot? I want their buildings to upgrade as well, so... Mm, I think I could go like this. Maybe it's better to put it like this. Let's try this out. We'll make everybody happy. Should increase the appeal of the area. And hopefully it will bring in more tourists. Because this one, uh, 1700 is not enough to improve our gambling. Six hundred and eighty tourists per day, mostly medium wealth. Hotel guests, medium wealth tourists, and some low wealth tourists. Okay, now we have a few of these taller buildings. Again, we're upgrading our mayor mansion. The low wealth seems to somehow be turning a profit. Maybe two of these is not a good idea, but I thought it would be. Hmm. I'm very confused right now. Take a look at the necessary warrior. Oh, the necessary people. Okay, we're getting some taller buildings for our medium wealth. That is good because we request a lot of it. And we're getting some level 3 high wealth buildings. That is good once again. Okay, we're finally bringing more people per day. At a thousand and in the thousands. Eight hundred and fifty eight tourists went up. But the Dutch mill is not doing too well. Still not turning a profit overall. What if we were to build one of these? Like, would we still have space? 
Not that much, no, it's pretty big. Maybe if we'll start destroying some of these businesses. Maybe then. How about... Even that we have plenty of low wealth workers and there's still more room to expand here. Let's even put down a park for the low elf, something big. Because there's a bunch of buildings here that I don't see like they have a role. So we'll just do that. Make people happier. Okay. Well. Because now I'm thinking that maybe what is a good idea is to make this medium wealth. So we'll do just that. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do it like this. And we're gonna add another extension to the park. Okay, now all of this is medium wealth. And we'll need something else here as well. Maybe I'll plop down another park like so. Just to keep people happy. And we're gonna get medium wealth workers. Yeah, look, so the demand for low wealth is growing up, but we have plenty of buildings. The medium wealth is going down, and that is great. And then we'll have the high wealth, which are going up, so this should go down soon as well. Okay, finally. Not enough free shipment, yeah, well, what can we do? Turn your buildings into gambling holes and we'll be okay. Why are you unhappy? Give us some freight or else. Maybe we should keep focusing on freight, like make another city, focus on freight. I'm not sure how we would build that city. Maybe make one full of industrial buildings for low and medium wealth, right? Okay, let's reopen the airport, see what's gonna happen. Like, I could add another one of these. Maybe it attracts more. Okay, so these areas are starting to turn a profit, but we need 10k per day. Let's add these, I forgot about all about these. I feel like these are very important, we should add plenty of them. Wherever we can, let's see, are all of these square? I think they are. The world's biggest yarn pole. Hmm. Well, where, where do we place them? Could throw it in here between these buildings. Mm -hmm. 
we'll just add them like so. I could throw in maybe another casino. Let's see, on the gambling hall. Anything small enough to fit in here? Yes! That is perfect because we'll be making a mix here. I'm doing another one of these smaller holes. We'll get a sign. And I'm gonna place it... yeah, let's place it there. We have only four different rooms. I'm not gonna add any kind of lodging, we're just going to add gambling holes. Like that. I'm gonna fuse these. Or maybe keep the businesses on this. Mm. Nope, let's try to make this happen. Let's unite the roads. Because I think that this will produce us the most money, probably now, until we upgrade our city a bit, till it grows, like these ones. And for the giant yarn ball, let's see, is this a motel? No. And congratulations, you have been replaced by the world's largest ball of twine. And I think I like the garden gnome. All of these are for low wealth, right? Yes. Hmm. We have a few places where we can play to them now. Let's add a gnome here. We're gonna add the llama on this side. There we have it. Continue to upgrade the mayor's house. Make everybody happy. Residents, kids, homeless and tourists. Okay. Come on, money. We're losing money at this point from upkeep. Let's see, so what are we spending it on? Transportation is one of the highest costs we have, education and city specialization, meaning the, the gambling holes. We're also losing some money from buying crude oil for our power. Okay, that was 11,000 yesterday, 5,700. And here we're not turning a profit just yet. Okay, we're getting now some tourists. Hopefully they will fill the holes, these free holes soon, and then we'll need, we'll, we'll have a need to open these ones, the sci-fi casino. Okay, well, anything else we care for? If we take a look at happiness, where are we at? With the residential... Too many injuries, so we need either more medical centers. Either to make more medical centers or add in a few more ambulances. No, we're at a limit. So definitely we're going to expand this. And I'm gonna throw in another ambulance just because I'm nice. Industrial 
things look pretty well. You know what I'll do on the industrial? I'll just reduce their taxes. They're not providing us with too much money. As long as they grow and make a lot of freight, a lot of profit, that would be great. And here is a sign that I like to see. Plop an Omega Co. Factory. I think we're gonna bring Omega pretty soon into our towns. So we'll have to see. Yep, plenty of cars going here in and out. I think we're finally gonna start seeing some tourists coming in. And that can only make me happy. But that will have to be it for today and for this week. It has been a, a slightly more difficult episode than what we had before. Gambling is not as easy to pick off the ground. It's not as easy as pushing, putting down all these buildings and expect profit. We're, we lost a lot of money today. Mostly because we didn't have people coming in. But now we have two gambling holes that are doing quite well as far as profit goes and keeps going up. We are still trying to turn a profit with this one. And hopefully we'll be able to do it. We're getting some visitors, but not too much. But maybe by the end of the day we'll get what we want. We're starting here, we're not making a profit from this one, but we are making a profit from the Washington Monument. And the Twines, as long as it brings in tourists and things like that, that will be totally fine. Yeah, don't know what to say more than this, but I hope you have enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, I wish you all a wonderful day.